Okay, I just want to like watch some random shit and chill for a little bit. Serena Williams home? That might be, I want to see that. Hello, AD. Welcome to my home. Come on in. I'm gonna give you some time. Don't need to see bookshelves first. Well, that's lit. That's lit. So, welcome to my home. I've been designing this. I'm on fire! Why do you think it's a prime for 10 months? Um... Why is there a chair full of Elmos? Or dead Elmos? We haven't even been here a minute yet. We're at 19 seconds. I'll let her explain herself. We'll let her explain. I designed this house for a really, really long time. I actually worked with my sister Venus. She has an interior design company called V-Star Interiors. And it's really cool because she loves doing it. And she has some amazing people that work with her that was able to kind of get inside my brain and pick my brain and show you my vision. It's literally in every shot. Look at this. You, my vision. Most homes actually have a formal living room and I didn't want to lose that aspect uh, but I also didn't want a formal living room and I was just trying to decide what do I do. Now I love art and I love you know all kinds of like artists and I find it really cool so I was like what if I had a formal Thank living you. room but Hug instead me, of, I am scared being of a living room now. it's called an art gallery so this is our gallery it actually starts from the front door this piece is one of my favorite pieces it's from Radcliffe Bailey we, I have a few pieces of his I think it's called the astro because this is actually a rock from the moon so that's really cool sometimes when I feel like I want to go to space I just touch that little guy so that's Pretty amazing. It's a really fantastic wide piece for the entrance of the foyer. And then we have our gallery. So we kind of walk in a little bit of cause chair, some more fun stuff. This is a Leonardo Drew. What did she call it? Chair. And then we have our gallery. So we kind of walk in a little bit of cause chair. Calls chair? What is cause chair? Cause? What is cause? What's cause chair? Some more fun stuff. This is a Leonardo Drew, another Radcliffe Bailey. These doors are actually from Nepal, which is really cool. My favorite piece, not really my favorite piece, but this is actually my art. I do art. Um, no, not the, and not the glass piano. And, um, oh, no. Really kind of oh, artsy, no. so... This is a really cool piece. She, it's she's off to a really hand. bad start here. So it's kind of like a 3D piece, which is really cool. Oh, bookshelf. needs a library. A little bit of a library here. And also needs a, a piano. I wanted a piano that my daughter would be able to play, but I didn't want it to... Oh, I hate to say it. I don't want to be that guy, but like, this is the most snobby sh I've ever seen like fuck. like this isn't even like a house this is literally just to impress other people like there's no fucking way like there's no way she actually enjoys walking in and looking at half the shit it is literally an ego trip you want your daughter to play the piano like I, like that is literally like old rich people shit, like play the piano you know like playing piano is fine if she wants to but like why do you want her to you know like so heavy and i was like is there like a clear uh, see-through piano that we can find and so v-star was really helpful with getting everything together 
And so really that's our gallery. The gallery kind of extends a little bit on the sides. Thank you. Um, I have Each a one of those piece, dead Elmos cost $150. About, that's um, so that's the gallery how is much actually... that dead Elmos chair costs. What? Thank you. Wait, really? This her bronzy go vod. <laughs> Not close to being done, but he has future statue. Oh, the dude who made it is called Cause. He has few statues in New York City. So he made a chair of dead Elmos, and she has that in her live, like the start of her house. So like that's it's just work in progress. Wild. And I think galleries are always work in progress because it's always art pieces that's coming and that's being exchanged and that's being figured out. So it's really fun. Come on, I'm gonna show you um, my trophy room. Oh, All right, this is some fun. of my favorite pieces. These two girls, just to go back to the gallery, these two girls actually represent myself and my sister. This one's me because I'm super complicated, but maybe it's Venus because she's way more complicated than me. I'm pretty simple, so we'll say this one's Venus. And these are actually done by Brendan. What in the psychopathic behavior did I just listen to? Represent these two girls, just to go back to the gallery, these two girls actually represent myself and my sister. This one's me because I'm super complicated, but maybe it's Venus because she's way more complicated than me. I'm pretty simple, so we'll say this one's Venus. And these are actually done by Brendan Marshall, who's a wonderful, wonderful um, artist. I have some art upstairs by him as well. Really kind of modern, cool vibes. Yo, maybe you should read some of the f***ing books that are in the house because you did not just speak a, a, a logical sentence. Which I you really just literally said the opposite twice. Love. Okay, now I'm going to show you the... That chair costs one million one hundred and eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. You're telling me this chair costs one million one hundred and eighty-seven thousand dollars. <sighs> this is just proof that no matter how much money you can make in life, money doesn't buy it's taste. Thanks. I can make you if an I Elmo put chair. Random crap I'm good, all man. over my house. Can I call myself complicated? I know I look like I have my stuff together, but you should see my living room. It's basically a storage room. I just want you all to know, I'm just a little complicated. Well, here are some of my trophies. Okay, this is this is good. Um, I like this. And then this. some this is really cool. cool pieces that really mean a lot to me. Wheaties box. I don't keep a lot of my Grand Slam trophies here. I do see an Australian Open trophy. Oh, wait, 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 there's a US Open trophy, okay. Here's one. Oh, that's 2002, okay. That was a while ago. This she won so many like trophies, one. she doesn't even know. I am so bad with trophies. Is this one? Let's see. Okay, she literally flexed on us, like what? I am so bad with trophies. Is this one? Let's see. This is, yep, this is uh, Rolling Garros, the French Open. Clearly, I don't have a lot of those, so I can't tell you that one. I only have Two or three? I don't even remember. Two. Three. 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 Let's see. Oh, this is the Australian Open. Now all you all need me to show you is a Wimbledon, but I don't think I have Wimbledon here. Do I have one? Oh, I do. This is our Wimbledon trophy. Lots of cool details and names. My Isn't that like the biggest tournament of all here. time? How does she not know Six which one that one is? Which is crazy. Oh, here's another Wimbledon trophy. I'm so bad with this. So this is what it was like fire. when you first won Wimbledon. Thank you, thanks for giving some. Appreciate it. Um, and then it been like four. Did or five she has more than one I Wimbledon. No, I know, but if the trophy always looks the same, it's just she has different ones. How does she not know what any of them look like? I won Wimbledon, and I understand they moved it to the bigger one. So, so okay, so she just said that th this was the smaller one before, and then they moved it to the bigger one. So it looks the same though, like. That's like, that's like you go to Brady's house. He's like, oh, I, I don't know where my rings are. Uh, I, I got them somewhere. Like, oh, yeah, here's here's one. Um, oh, this isn't this isn't the Super Bowl. Oh, this is something. You know what I mean? Like, um, and then it well, obviously like, like she has way more. So it's understandable. Four but. or five years since I won Wimbledon. And I understand they moved it to the bigger one. So this is like early 2000s. And this is like, I don't know, 2010, 12. I don't know when I won. Here's another Australian Open. I won that one I mean, a few times. She's yeah, goaded, I see a so. second place trophy, but I'm gonna put that one in the trash. She's earned it, Shouldn't but. Be in here. We don't keep second place. So if anyone ever told you I'm vain, then they're lying, and I showed them my office. I have no Wait, vanity about me. Is that a my office chair? is always extremely messy. Wait a minute! Did you guys see that? She's got a DX, like a DX racer type gaming chair. 
She's got a gamer chair. She she's got something she's hiding. Vanity about. Show me. us the setup. My office is always extremely messy because I have us the so setup. much stuff, and I realized that I probably should have made a bigger office, but I was like, I don't work that much at home. But it's really a fantastic space. I kind of like it snug because I can get so much work done. I always keep it super warm in here, which I love. This is my office. This is where a lot of things happen, a lot of meetings happen, and crazy stuff. But the craziest stuff happens in my karaoke room, so I'm gonna show you that right now. Pink set, headset? She had a pink headset? Where's the pink headset? Pink headset. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's up here. Wait, the switch! Wait, there's a switch? There's a switch? Headphones? The, the mic? Nah, she, she moved some stuff. She definitely moved some stuff before this. There's just this random empty space. I think she missed some. I think she moved some stuff so she didn't look like a gamer. She's got a blue Yeti mic. I'm Interesting. Show you that right now. I wanted a lot of detail on the wall. I wanted like really cool surprise elements in the house. Um, so each room has really different surprise elements. You kind of have to be here to look at it and see it closely. But this is actually a wallpaper that's like a 3D wallpaper, so there's texture to it. So when you feel it, you can feel all this cool texture that comes with it. Our media room and our bar and our club room is all in one. I didn't want like a movie theater room because I'm like, I just don't want to sit and watch movies, but I wanted like something that was super functional. So when I was talking to these stars, like, listen team, I want something really functional that can work as like a karaoke place. So they gave me a little bit of a stage. Me and Olympia sing on it often. And these chairs are actually super cool. functional. I got them Works in for... Europe. They twist 360 and they actually lay back completely, which is really important to me. Popcorn machine is what we use I'm most with in it. this house. I actually would love some popcorn now, but I'm gonna try to refrain. And my husband actually got all the liquor because I told him that I want some really cool liquor bottles and he That's got fine. all these really amazing That's fine. liquor bottles on display that That's we fine. really never It's not drink, a wine cabinet. But maybe one day we'll crack one open. We'll see. It's fine. And my kitchen's super busy right now. You guys came when my daughter's like playing. And so, well, you can see pictures of my kitchen in the Architectural Digest magazine. Wow, so they, it's really she's, fun. I she doesn't want to show it. That's crazy. Here. Grab the magazine to see all the rest of it. I, dude, I feel like she like didn't want to show most of her house. That's, that was only a few rooms. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. Yeah, like, did we ever see this room back? Oh, we did, actually. I think we only saw it down here. We didn't see any uh, bedrooms or anything. Probably because our daughter. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Interesting, though. That is... Huh. Move the gaming setup to another room? Yeah, probably. Probably. Probably.